heck is at my door at this hour? What the heck? Waifus only? Rock Sandy? Rock Sandy Mimic Brew. Waifus only? Zelda, get in here. What's up, Rock? What are you doing out here at this hour? Well, all right. Binder full of waifus. Wait, what was that? Waifus. Okay, bro, chill. Waifus, waifus, waifus. What's going on, Bruce? Ladies and gentlemen, after two years of being the most beloved Pokemon TCG content creator on YouTube, the boy, not man, the myth, the legend, Rock Sandy, has done two incredible things. One, this. Rock Sandy has created his own card prison binder. That's right. Rock Sandy, y'all, is making his own binders now. But not only that, Rock Sandy, here at Card Party, Card Party 2, courtesy of Deep Pocket Monster, has finally done a face reveal. Rock Sandy literally looks like a younger, cleaner, more trustworthy version of Cool Trainer Ryan. <laughs> I'm definitely not going to be looking at my binder full of waifu. All right, so here it is. Let's let's do the unboxing. Again, thank you, Rock. Although now that you've done a face reveal, kind of made this thing for nothing. He's still gonna be Rock Sandy though. Let's not let's not go crazy. All right, here's the unboxing. Waifus only. I think he he doesn't mind if you put other cards in it, but secretly he he made this for waifus. All right, here we go. God. Oh hell, this thing is huge. Why is it so big? What the hell is this so big? Alright, so, here we go guys. I have not seen this thing. Why is this so big? This is the biggest... This is like a mini Giga Chad binder. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, white and gold. I like white and gold. Alright, what do I do here? This is, dude, this is one of the biggest... What is this, like 35 bucks? This thing, this should be like 50 bucks, bro. All right, so here we go. Card prison. In a sec, I'm gonna take you guys uh, back here and we'll open it up and I think I'll throw some waifus in here, I think, yeah. I'm excited, I'm so excited. Oh, oh, this is huge, dude. This binder is freaking massive. Okay, okay, so we got little, we got little, we got a bunch of regular size pages. Oh my god. Oh my god. And then we got... Okay, so this is for top loaders. So this is the top loader section. Ooh! That feels nice. Okay, hold on. Guys, let's... Let me... Let's go. Give me one sec. Alright, before I put the camera down and we go to a tighter stationary frame, I just want to show you guys what we'll be working with today. So, I will be putting, not all these waifus into there, but I decided it will be half Pokemon, half Weiss. Look at this. Look at this gold foil just walking up to the binder. That's the first thing I noticed is how beautiful that gold foil circle is. And yeah, it's impregnated, it's indented, whatever you call it. But yeah, that looks high quality. But over to these. So I will be, I will make the, you know what, Rock? This is my new waifu binder. You got it, bro. But, uh, so this is going to be fun because one, we're going to kind of stress test this binder a little bit. We're going to see what fits in here and what doesn't. Look at that. Look at that felt. But yeah, I'll count the pages real quick. But, uh, yeah, so we'll throw some waifus in here. We got some that are in graded card sleeves, uh, some that, I'll grab some top loaders here in a sec. Uh, yeah, but I'll throw, we'll look through some of these, cause I'm gonna be honest, I, when it comes to white shorts, cause I go to so many card shops, I don't even know what any of these are. I've probably paid a dollar or two for most of them. But yeah, in honor of Rock Sandy, I will throw some white shorts cards. I haven't bought white shorts in like a year or two. 
But yeah, so I haven't looked at any of these in a while. Uh, but full disclosure, real quick, guys, because this is a waifu video. If any of these are actual dudes, especially Pokemon, you know, it, it, it happens, okay? It is what it is. And then, and then age, okay, okay, okay. Look, they're they're just waifus. They're they're just anime, whatever. Okay, so don't don't grill me in the comments if there's a mistake in here. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, let's here. Let's move the waifus. What's up, Skyline? Move these out of the way. Get all these. All right, let's count these pages real quick. Okay, so again, quality is the first thing that I keep thinking here. Okay, so it looks like big top loader pages fo followed by regular and then back to top loader, which I think is a good idea because when it comes to weight distribution and are you storing are you storing it upright or are you storing it flat, um, I think that's good. Real quick to all card prison and every other binder company that has a zipper like this, I think there's a lot you could do here. Whether it be a mesh pouch, like an elastic mesh pouch, where let's say this was a master set, okay? I love having my ETB player guides with my master set, or at least a checklist and a sharpie so that I know what cards I still need. So I'm just saying, just an idea, something in here, something like a netting to put a list in, I think would be a cool idea for a binder. Uh, yeah. Or, you know, maybe not that, but maybe some kind of bigger pockets for, say, promo, sealed promos. You can line up some promos in there. I don't know. I'm just saying there's there's something that could be done there on the front inside cover. All right. So here we go. So we have top loader size jumbo. Look at that, Pikachu socks. Jumbo pages. So we have, let's see, it's front and back. Okay, so front and back. We have 9, 18, 27. 36, 45, okay, so what was that, 54? Was that 54? Yeah, I think. And then now we have regular. So that's the size that a binder usually is. To give you an idea of how big this binder is, this is like your regular size vault binder right here, or like generic. So now we have 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72... 81, 90, okay, it keeps going, okay, it keeps going, okay, it keeps going. I just didn't want to count after that. Uh, what was that, like 180? And 180 is about a full Pokemon set from like commons and commons and rares. And then, I'm assuming this must be the exact same amount as the front, because of the way these are built, they have seams in the middle. So, as far as jumbos go, so I don't know the specifics, sorry. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll link it, the website and all that below, which probably has all the specifics, but it looks like about 100, 100 uh, top load size, and then uh, what was it, about 180 regular size, something like that. I could be way off, I don't know. But yeah, so there's that. So, front and back, top loader, regular size in the middle, and that is very unique, very cool. And then in the back, oh yeah. All right, so these guys, I'm just trying to avoid comments where people yell at me. See all those tabs? I'm a sucker for tabs. Everything that's in here is ready to, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, all of this is going to be graded someday with PSA. That's why it's in here and not somewhere else. But uh, don't tab your cards, guys. The PSA don't like that, okay? I just, I don't want a million people telling me not to tab my cards. I just, I, that, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to get all this ready, and then we're going to throw it into here. It's just, I'm going to get it ready now off camera, so I'm not wasting a ton of time taking all this out. Blah, blah, blah you get it. All right, be back in a sec. All right, something I forgot to do at uh, the last part there. I was going to do a size comparison, comparing the card prison binder to a single strap nine pocket uh vault x binder so i'll go ahead and throw that up right now and then uh yeah you know you guys are here for just pokemon cards and the binder so the Y shorts cards i went ahead and i just sleeved them all already off camera because you know you don't really care about that but i will show the uh pokemon waifus as i'm sleeving them so i'll quickly throw all those in the binder but then also so vault x binders the plastic itself uh i wanted to show 
I have a, a big issue with Voltex binders, the plastic getting kind of scuff marks or like gray marks um, kind of sporadically on some of the pages. And to be honest, a lot of the Voltex pages have that crap on it. Whereas I've already noticed with this binder, every single pocket on every single page is crystal clear, like beautiful, no scuffs, no, you know, maybe I just got lucky and I got a perfect binder, but every single one of these pockets is crystal clear. So real quick, mainly for Rock Sandy, I'm just going to show some of the better waifus that I did not uh, decide to put in the binder. It will just hurry up. You know what? Who cares? Let's just get to the Pokemon because I don't know what any of these are anyway. But yeah, so here's the middle real quick. I threw all these waifus in the middle. And then I what I'm going to do is on this side. So I'm just going to do the sword and shield waifus. Almost everything is going to be sword and shield. I'm going to put it on this side, 54 of them. And then later in a future date, not in this video, I'm going to put Scarlet and Violet uh, waifu cards on the back half. So I'll have uh, Sword and Shield waifus on the front, all my white shorts waifus right here in the middle, not in top loaders. This is obviously the not top loader section. But there you go here. So there's all that. So yeah, and I still got a ways to go there. But that in the middle, I might add a bunch of Final Fantasy waifus actually in the back. I have a lot of Final Fantasy cards too. But yeah, so let's get to the Pokemon uh, waifus. And again, these are going to be almost all Sword and Shield. I think there's like two or three Sun and Moon cards in here. But I ordered them in a way that will kind of look cool for the binder. I don't know, maybe you'll agree, maybe you'll disagree. But again, so far, it's 54, so 108 total top loaded. And then I think like 180 or maybe 200 something right here in the middle. But yeah, all right, let, let's get going here. So, okay, so I have this zoomed out very, very far, so you can see the whole binder. So let's just get to it here. So uh, I was at a card show earlier today, front row card show in Phoenix. And so I paid very close attention to every binder I was looking through. And I did find a couple that were, that were the top loader type. Um, and I didn't find any binders that were both regular and top loader type. So, uh, I don't know. This is, as far as I know, the first binder where it incorporates both styles. Could be 100% wrong. But what I do know is that while trying to pull in and pull out the top loader, uh, this, this and other styles from other companies, um, I was just having a lot of problems like... Either the pockets were way too tight and I felt like I was destroying the pocket trying to take out the top loader. Um, so one thing, you know, you, you want tight pockets for raw cards, but since these are already top loaded anyway, um, I think a slightly on the looser side is actually pretty beneficial because, yeah, I don't know. I felt like I was just really messing up the binder just trying to pull the, the top loaded cards out. All right, so there's page one. We got a Clara row, regular and secret. I know you can't see it too well. Um, let's see. A bunch of Skylas, then Arita, Pokemon Center, and then Phoebe I actually got today. I got Phoebe just a few hours ago at this card show that I went to. All right. Pardon my sniffles. All right, so page two. So here's one of the not Sword and Shields. But yeah, um... I'm, I'm God, you know, it doesn't matter who this was. If it was Rock Sandy or somebody else, uh, I am so happy to have this binder. Um, it's just, I have a lot of different binders. And this one, a lot of them are master set binders. I have a few generic ones. Like I have a reverse hollow and hollow binder. I have a black star promo binder. I have all my master set binders. This is my first binder that actually you can put top loaders in. And to be honest, it is super cool. And obviously a lot of people are probably going to use this kind of binder for alt arts or just more expensive cards. A lot of these sword and shield waifle, waifle, waifle cards, waifu cards, um, you know, they're like five, ten, seven, eight bucks. Like there's nothing crazy here. We're not talking, you know, sun and moon waifus. I got a couple sun and moon waifus. But yeah, so these pockets, again, you know, once you put a top loader on each side, it seems to lock in pretty well. 
but yeah, like, I don't know if you can tell because I'm on the 0.5 zoom for a bigger, a bigger view, but every one of these is super duper clean. Wait, 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 wait. I thought I wanted her on the opposite. No, 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 we'll put her over here. All right, so yeah, every single page, I just, you know, when I was ordering these, I was like, we'll just give it its its own cool look, like a row of Skylas right there. I'm gonna have a row of Secret Rare Gardenias there. But yeah, so every page is gonna have its own little, little kind of style to it. But yeah, brand new. All of these cards too, I just, uh, I just bought all these top loaders brand new, sleeves are brand new, the binder's brand new. You know, I wouldn't be surprised. So it's, okay, so when it comes to Japanese, which is down, and right before that waifus kind of fell, I think it's going to be a while before uh, the Japanese market, because of how much print demand of the Japanese cards are going through right now, it is, I don't know, in my opinion, it might be a few years before we see Japanese make a comeback. I'm just being honest, but waifus, I could see waifus coming back, you know, next year. I could see waifus. I mean, I'm already seeing certain chase waifus that are down hard starting to climb back up right now as it is. Um, but yeah, so like, let's be honest. So like, girls or waifu cards, like, dudes are always going to be dudes. And dudes are always going to like waifu cards. Like, maybe Weiss Shorts, like that brand, you know, who knows, maybe that might burn out. Uh, but as far as a set, or, you know, a TCG like Pokemon, that's just always going to be printing waifu cards for eternity. Um, I could see waifus kind of going up and down. I think, I don't know, all us Bromeo lovers, uh, we always uh, like to fantasize about a day that certain full art Bromeo cards will take off. I don't know if that'll ever happen. I mean... It should happen, <laughs> but I think instead what's just going to happen is waifus will go up and down and up and down and up and down, and bromeos will just kind of stay down, sadly. All right, so here we got Aroma Lady, Olivia, there's Sun and Moon, Peonia, uh, Furso Girl, the Marnie, oh, I got this secret rare Marnie uh, at the card show today. I should have showed you guys that. The secret rare Marnie is... Very nice. The full art regular version is only 40 bucks. Right now in my last video, I was talking about how it was 80 bucks a year ago. So both the full art and this one right here that you're looking at are two of the best deal waifus, I swear, like just in existence that there is. Um, so I picked this one up today because of that. And very soon I will, I'm, I'm trying to hurry up and get the full art regular Marnie because while well, it's still only 40 bucks, Oh my gosh, this has turned out to be such a beautiful binder. Holy crap, dude. These pages are heavy. This binder is going to be so heavy when it's done. My gosh. Yeah, this is... This has definitely been one of the funner YouTube videos that I've thrown together. Mainly because I love my... I was going to say my guy. It's like a boy. How old is Roxanne? How old do you think that face is? I, I love not knowing Roxandy's actual age. I, I prefer the mystery. But yeah, starting a starting a binder business, that's actually something I was considering doing myself just because I started master setting and uh all the the Voltex master set binders, they just sell out so quick and then they don't restock them and it's like Voltex, just so you know, like I would give you guys hundreds of dollars, one for every single you know, let's say you made you make a Crown Zenith one. I don't know if they do. But I know they do SV1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And they're all sold out. And just letting you know, vault unless Rock Sandy wants to make his own, uh, you know, set-themed binders, uh, I would love to pay you guys for... Uh, I would love to replace all my single strap 9 pocket with the actual set binders that say the set on the side. Or say the SV... Um, but yeah, there's, so if anyone wants to do that, just so you know, vault is apparently not reprinting them. I don't know why. So, uh, yeah, if anyone wants to make set specific color toned to the set binders, I will, you know, take my money. Take my money. What do we got here so far? We got Fantinas. I got an OC Fantina that's so OC, the silver is like that thick. Like it is one of the most OC cards I've ever seen. We got two, a regular Cynthia, we got the Hyper. Ah, oh, it sucks that the zoomed out version of this camera is so not, like, 4K. 
Oh, oh, we got, we're gonna have, this whole page is gonna have six Cynthia's on it. What the heck? No big deal. Cynthia's, I think both these Cynthia's are only like five bucks. Not a big deal. And then two more Seeker Rare. So that's four Seeker Rare Cynthia's just on that one page right, right here. <laughs> I'm not even a huge Cynthia fan. I just, when it comes to buying raw, if, okay, so if you guys can hear stuff in the background, you hear that? So that's a hamster wheel. I have a hamster. My dog and the hamster have a strange relationship. So Zelda's my dog. Xena's my hamster. Uh, yeah, the hamster's cage or whatever is on the floor. And they literally just lay and stare at each other all day long while I'm at work. And I work 12-hour shifts. All right, so anyway, the hamster... It's literally a, the best dog distraction ever, and they are very friendly. My dog literally somehow has never heard a fly. My dog loves other animals, especially rodents. I don't know about cats, though. My dog has a thing with cats. Not that she'd do anything bad to a cat, but she just doesn't... She likes to, let's say, run at them aggressively. <laughs> but she used to live with a cat. Used to live with a cat. When she was a puppy, she got beat up by a cat, so maybe that's why. Never attacked a cat, though. All right, so we got a couple Xenians. Xenians. I just want you guys to know that I actually put so much thought into the way I'm filming this that I put on long sleeves so you didn't have to stare at my hairy forearms while I'm doing this. I literally was like, oh, wait, my forearms are just going to be on camera the whole time while I'm doing this. And they'll probably just stare at my... You know, I don't got hairy forearms, but, you know, I'm I'm a man. I'm a man in my 30s. Well, it's, I won't tell you how old I am, but I will tell you guys that in Jan well, March of 1999, I did pull first edition base set Charizard. And honestly, that is easily my hand... Like, if you can close your eyes and just like that instantly teleport yourself back to the time that something happened when you were a kid, it's an indication that it's a pretty... Pretty core memory, serious core memory, and I could literally close my eyes, and literally just like that, I'm ten. You no, know, well, I'm at the food court at a mall right outside of Wizards of the Coast, in a little town called Puyallup, Puyallup, Washington, or around where I lived at the time. Uh, Wizards of the Coast is a Washington State or Seattle area company, so there's a lot of Wizards of the Coast back in the late '90s, early 2000s around Seattle. Uh, but yeah, so I pulled the first edition base at Charizard. And two years later, in 2001, I sold that first edition base at Charizard to a grandma on eBay. My first ever eBay sale. Think about that. For your first ever sale on eBay. Dude, the hamster. Guys, I'm going to make the hamster stop. Hey, uh, Zena. Hi. Hi, Zena. All right, all right, all right. Uh, that probably didn't work. She'll probably start running in just a sec. All I did was tickle her and make her run downstairs. Uh, but yeah, so I sold the first edition base set Charizard for a really good price in December of 2001, which was $360. And it was to a grandma who bought it for... Now, I don't remember if he was dying or he was sick or he had a terminal, whatever, but he had, there was some medical thing going on uh, with this grandson, and he was only like seven or eight years old. So this grandma, anyway, so I sold my first edition base set Charizard, but, you know, it went to a grandma who bought it for her grandson, and, you know, I hope the kid's okay, and it wasn't a terminal thing. Yeah, and I, ho I hope he held on to it for 20 years, and then I hope he sold it in 2021 at the height of, oh my god. It had a print line. Okay, that didn't work. Sorry about the hamster noise in the background, is what it is. But, uh, but yeah, so that Charizard had a hollow print line from, uh, I'm supposed to be talking about this binder, but I think you guys can already tell. I literally have zero complaints with this binder. This binder is so cool. All I really cared about was the quality, you know, the inside, the zipper, just does it feel like it's high quality. And then I really, because I can't stand that vault scuff, like white marks all over, I really wanted to make sure that it was crystal clear on all these pockets. And I can absolutely guarantee you that it is super duper crystal clear. Every single pocket looks amazing. Uh, these top loaders, once you get them in on both sides, it's like the perfect snug fit. 
Um, it's not too loose. It's definitely not too tight. I've already readjusted and kind of taken one out a little bit and it comes out very easy. Um, so all in all, back to the binder real quick. The binder, I, 10 out of 10. Are you kidding me, Rock Sandy? You need, is sold out. He is sold out. But I have a feeling, okay, so look at that. I counted exactly 54. Uh, most all my Scarlet and Violet waifus are in the master sets. And even the extras are like in the back of the master sets. But I did, I did get this Gita today. So I guess I'll go ahead and throw the Gita in there. But look at that. So here's here's your heavy top loader ones. Here's, again, here's all the white shorts waifus in the middle. Again, I think I, I, like, I don't think I'm going to be buying too much white shorts, so I might start Final Fantasy right here and get through all my Final Fantasy cards. That or my older Reverse Hollow and Hollow Rare Pokemon waifus. Got a lot of those. But yeah, let me just start off my, uh, start off my uh, Scarlet and Violet. Here's the Iono promo. This one's so well-centered. <laughs> I got the Iono milk carton. If so, I found it on clearance for 20 bucks, and the Iono alone is worth 15 I was like, what the heck? Like, Oh, and remember how I said there's probably a dude in here somewhere? There's your dude, Rika. <laughs> and then here's a grandma. Oh, those, those aren't even Scarlet and Violet. That's not Scarlet and Violet. And Lady's not Scarlet and Violet. Let's put Mila in the middle, because she's crazy. Should have a whole page of Milas and Ionas, just so you have a crazy bitch page. All right, put Parasol, maybe. But yeah, so uh, guys, what you need to do is get on the website and tell Rock Sandy, hey man, you need to hurry up and print out a bunch of these, do like a mailing list. Okay, oh, oh, Katie Scarlet and Violet. Uh, yeah, because I don't know if he's gonna keep the $35 price point, uh, thirty-four ninety-nine price point. Rika, here you're gonna be the very last card we put in since you're a dude. And then Opal, Grandma, second to last. Uh, but yeah, he. This I don't know how you make a binder like this. How you sell out? How you have other YouTubers freaking out about how amazing and beautiful the binder is, and then not make a ton more. So uh, I would say one. Maybe come out with a black one where it's black and white, like the opposite color tones. Because that would be... Oh, my God. I have a waifu binder now. This is crazy. Rock, thank you so much for sending... I know I demanded you send me this, but, man, this is such a cool binder. Holy crap. Card Prison. There it is, guys. Like, comment, subscribe to Rock Sandy, the dude who started this company. And email him. Get on his newsletter. Get on the website. Favorite it. I don't know when he's going to make more of these. But I can promise you, he, he's absolutely going to make more of these. This is beautiful. All right, guys. Like, comment, subscribe to me, Mimic Brew. I'll be out with, uh, I think my next video is going to be an Investor investor Brew video. It's been a while. All right, guys. Amazing. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys on the next one. Deuces. Mm -hmm.